Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in, a mod in grade 5, module 2, lesson number 25, we're using basic facts to approximate decimal quotients with two-digit divisors. And we are reasoning about the, place val the placement of the decimal point. So this is very similar to work that we did about a week ago where we were doing all of this with regular uh, long-form division. We were doing our estimation of our quotients, we just weren't doing it with decimals. So this will be very similar to what we did before, and you should, if you had a good time with those, you should have a very similar uh, amount of success with these. Let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are super simple, estimate the quotients. So let's take a look at our quotient for um, 1b. So let's see, we always estimated our divisor first when we did our estimation. So I'm thinking that this is very close to 4 tenths because it's pretty far away from 5 tenths. So I'm going to say that our estimated divisor is oh, 40. Let's see. And let's see, now I've got to figure out what number could I figure, could, what friendly number could I divide here? Let's see, I'm noticing something, a basic math fact, which is that 24 would divide by 4 really easily. Well, the part that I can't deal with is this part. So I'm going to estimate that my whole would be 24.0 rather than uh, 24.2. And I think that I can recharacterize this problem because I think 24 divided by 40, I can think of this as being 24 divided by 4 divided by 10, right? Dividing by 40 is the same as dividing by 4 and then dividing by 10. And I know that 24 divided by 4 is a basic math fact that I know. That's 6. And 6 divided by 10 is, let's see, oh, 6 divided by 10, I guess I'd move the place value 1 to the right, so that would make it 6 tenths. So I think we've been able to estimate pretty quickly, right, that the divisor is pretty close to 40, that the whole is very close to 24.0, and that we've been able to make this problem, which we might not be able to do in our head, into a simpler problem by making our, um, our divisor of 40 into two parts. Divide by 4, then divide by 10. Once we do that, we can do the divide by 4 very easily, and we can do the divide by 10 very easily, and we end up with our estimated quotient of 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. Let's take a look at one more problem from tonight's homework. Now, 2 is really a multi-part problem, and so I, what I want to do is get you started on the first part and then see how it goes from there. We're going to estimate the quotient in A, and then use your estimated quotient to estimate B and C. So I'm just going to do the first part um, with you, and then I'm going to let you handle 2B and 2C, where you use the estimated quotient to do the, your further estimations. So I'm going to take a look at this problem, 9 and 13 hundredths divided by 42. Now again, I always look at my, um, at, my, at my divisor here first, and I think that that's, again, very close to 40. And let's see, what number that's close to this could we divide easily by 40? Well, I know a multiple of 4 is 8, so if this were 8 rather than 9, I think that would be a lot easier. What if we said it was 8 if our est in our estimated whole? That would be a lot easier. In fact, I think I would rewrite this problem as 8 divided by 4 divided by 10, right? Because I know I can, instead of dividing by 40, I can break that up, just like I did in the last problem, divide by 4, then divide by 10. This leaves me a super simple math fact. 8 divided by 4 is 2. We've got 2 divided by 10, and 2 divided by 10 is 2 tenths. So again, we've been able to break down we first we estimate our a divisor and our whole, and then we've been able to break down our division, even our estimated division, into 4 and 10 rather than 40, and then do our couple of simple math uh, facts to get our answer, our estimated answer. That'll give you an estimated quotient for 2a, and I hope you can use that to solve problems in 2b or 2c if your teacher, in fact, assigned those problems. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. This was a quick one because we didn't have to go all the way to the detail. We were just doing estimates. I hope it was a successful one for you, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.